Welcome back to my channel. I'm Princess Jonalyn. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more DIYs. You guys know I love them and I'm going to do so many for my 30th birthday, so I'll be happy to record all of them if you'd like. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these cute little champagne bottles. They're super easy to make, so if you want to see how I made these, just keep on watching. Okay you guys, so the ingredients that you need is going to be some fine glitter. I recommend the fine glitter because it covers more of the bottle. Um, you're going to need some Mod Podge. You can find this at Hobby Lobby. You're going to need a bowl for oops <laughs> you're gonna need a bowl for the glue and i like to use a sponge um brush to apply it and you're gonna need some bottles so you can get like the mini champagne bottles but i went with the martinelli sparkling cider because it was a lot uh cheaper for the six pack at walmart it was i believe six dollars um so that's why i grabbed these ones and they're super cute because they had the white um the white wrapper so it went perfectly good with my um my theme um but like i said you guys can choose whatever uh, bottles you'd like and then last but not least you are going to need um a paper i'm just using these little things that they send you in the mail um so that is just to do the bottles and all the other stuff is extra so this is totally optional i'm adding some uh straws and um, I'm adding these little hearts on top. They're for cupcakes, but I just took off the little clear part and glued them onto the straw. So this is why they look so cute for Valentine's Day. Um, and then also you can get some labels made. And I'm going to be adding some ribbon. So yeah, this is totally optional, like I said. Um, the things that you necessarily need is just this right here. Um, but if you want to decorate them like I did, um, then you can decorate them as you please. But I'm doing a Valentine's Day theme. So I thought it was really cute to add the little straw and the little love and the bow. So yeah, guys, let's get started. Hey guys, um, it's me again. I just wanted to tell you guys that um, in total for 12 mini bottles of the sparkling cider, I used one of these um, and I still had some left over. So definitely, I bought three because I wasn't sure how many I was going to need, but I just wanted to let you guys know so you guys don't have to buy extra like I did. And they also sell these brushes at the Dollar Tree, and they also sell the Mod Podge, but like a smaller version at the Dollar Tree. So if you guys want to save some extra money, go ahead and get these little brushes. They have a set like this um, for only a dollar, and the Mod Podge as well. But it's like a tinier bottle. It's like probably like this big. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know just so you guys could save some extra money. Okay, you guys, so the first thing you want to do is grab the bottle and take off this little label right here. Sorry, I broke my nail. Um, you're just going to want to take out this little label right here because I don't really want it. So, it's easy to take off because it's on top of that foil. So, super easy. And don't mind my table. My kids popped a pin on it. <laughs> so, this is the best I can do and it's totally fine because the glue and the glitter is going to hide it. So, now we are going to lay out the paper. And this is so we can recycle the glitter. Um every time we coat one bottle i'm gonna put it back into its little container so we can save it so the first thing you're gonna want to do is take some of the glue and the one that i chose was this super gloss uh, mod podge because i didn't want the glue to show sometimes the white one will show up white even when it dries so this one's gonna be super glossy when it dries um so you're gonna want to take some of the glue and what I do is just coat the whole thing starting at the very top because I want like a really clear line so just like this and then start going downward just like this make sure you get every single piece because you don't want the the glass to be showing Okay, so now that it is totally coated in the glue, what you're going to want to do is start pouring the glitter. So I take the lid off because it's a lot more faster. Starting at the top, this is what I like to do. Just start at the top and kind of like 
pull it downward. Sorry, I have a runny nose. I had the flu and then I had the cold right after. <laughs> so, kind of getting over it still. Um, so just make sure you get the, the very tip. And for the front part, because there is a label already there, I like to hold it just like this and pour it right on top because it coats it better. The first one I did, I didn't do this, and then I could see the label in the background. So definitely hold it like this, and then you can shake off the excess. Adding a little bit more to the parts that are not coated. Like right here. Okay, and there you have it. There is your glitter uh, champagne bottle. So this is what you're left with. So as you can see, the top... Oh, <laughs> oh my god, total fail. Um, but okay, so basically what I wanted to show you before the wind pulled it out was after you're done uh, putting the glitter on the bottle, what you're going to want to do is fold it in half and put it right back in the container. Just so that it doesn't, um, just so that you can reuse it, like, see how all this I could have used, but the wind blew it away. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I like to do. That's why I have this paper all the time. So, I'm going to show you guys how to attach the ribbon. So, all you have to do, I already cut this ribbon. I want to say it's like 12 inches maybe. And all you have to do is just wrap it around. I don't know if I showed you guys how I tie my bows, but wrap it around, make two ears, and put them inside the hole. And just fix it up a little. And there you have a cute little bow. So now we are going to add the little straw. I love these straws, I think they're so cute. Um, so what I do is just add it to the very top of the, um, of the ribbon. Just poking it right through, just like that. Look how cute it looks already. So now we are going to add the label. Like I said, it's totally optional because look how cute these look already like this. I love them. So now let's add um, the label. Okay, you guys. So now I'm going to start attaching um, the labels. And I'm using just a regular water bottle label. It's going to fit around it perfectly. So what I do is I glue a little bit on the back and then glue it on the front. So the back one is going to um, stick to the glitter and the other one is going to stick to the other flap. So just turning it around, pressing it on the back, and just overlapping the paper. Just like that. And there you have it. Look how cute it is. I love it so much. You like it, baby? You like it, mama? It's so cute, huh? <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you guys so much for staying tuned until this part of the video. So as a little bonus, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make these little water bottle labels. They're super easy, super affordable. So if you guys want to see how I put my water bottle labels together, then keep watching. I have a video on it. However, it's about two years old. So I'm just going to do one so you guys don't have to scroll down and find the video. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's super easy. It's super cheap. So what you're going to need is some clear um, masking tape from the Dollar Tree. I like to buy it from the Dollar Tree because it's super cheap. And I could do so many water bottles with it. Um, you're going to need some water bottles. You can have the big ones or the mini ones. I works on both. And you are going to want to have some labels. So I get my labels from Etsy. Sorry guys, my camera cut off. But basically, I am going to be using these. I find my designs on Etsy. So just go to Etsy and search water bottle labels. Some of them will print them out for you. However, they are pricey. They're like $36 for like um, 12 of them. So that's why I like to show you guys the inexpensive version of doing these things. Um, I'm printing it out on regular white computer paper. So no fancy paper whatsoever. And like I said, I'm just using this clear tape to do it. And you're going to need some scissors, obviously, to cut the labels. So first I'm going to cut the labels, and then we're going to attach them to the water bottles. 
Okay, so now that we have our little uh, labels printed out, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but um, I lay out a strip of tape. So this is going to make it easier so we can do multiple uh, labels at the same time. And I just put my scissors here so that it doesn't roll over or roll back. So what we're going to do is just place the labels right here, leaving a little gap so that um, we can cut the tape. Okay, you guys, so we are going to take the label and we're going to flip it downwards and attach it. So make sure that the tape is facing, the sticky part is facing upward. And all you're going to do is just attach it like that. And that's it. So then we are going to attach some more, just leaving a little gap, probably like two or three inches. And just attaching it like that. So the longer the table, the better it is. You can get more labels. I'm using a small little Ikea table, so we're only going to be able to get four. Okay. So now all you have to do is just cut in the middle. I like to cut in the middle so that both labels have some space to attach. Make sure you don't put them on top of each other because I've done that before. <laughs> they stick together. Okay, so now all you have to do is grab one of the water bottle labels. Um, you can take off the label that already comes with it. Or you can leave it on. Sometimes with darker um, labels, you don't have to take them off. They can't see. So you can start at one side attaching the, the tape just like that. And just wrap it around all the way. And there you have it, a cute little water bottle label. You could personalize it, you can add things. I probably will add um, maybe a ribbon. I've seen that before for, a, <laughs> don't mind Apple, she's under the table. Um, yeah, but I did this before. I've seen it before in like a little tutu party um, where they had like a little bow at the top. So I might add a bow, but it's super cute like this. So yeah, guys, that is how you make these cute little simple water bottle labels. I hope you guys enjoy this little bonus clip. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY glitter champagne bottle. I think this is super cute. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And stay tuned for my next video. I am throwing my 30th birthday, so I'm going a little bit crazy because I'm turning 30. Like I said, kissing my 20s. Goodbye. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for my next video. Bye.